I welcome Akian Korla the opportunity to take part in this discussion. I have slightly few more minutes than I had on the last occasion, but my message is exactly the same, notwithstanding the blatant, blatant breach of international law by Russia in going in on the day after I made my speech. I stood up as a voice for peace and asked for this country to be that voice as well. And I think that is the role that we will have to play and we have no choice about it. So I say to the people of Nehukrana, we stand with you. Every possible human help that we can give you, and I welcome the package of helps and the sanctions that have been um, highlighted here today and I would really like to see the details of those in terms of some of the sanctions self-serving are they actually serving what they're setting out to do and then in relation to helping the people that come here the actual details of that but I welcome it and I welcome the two ten millions that have been highlighted although one of them is for a discussion for another day because it's dancing on the top of a needle in relation to lethal and non-lethal weapons but that's that's for another day what I want to pick up on is Deputy Callaghan, who said we were a sovereign, independent country, and I totally agree with him. And he went on to say that we should use that independence in relation to making decisions about uh, expelling diplomats uh, and our, our other things. And I'm, I, I agree with him in relation to that. We're an independent, sovereign state. And to reflect on what that means and how we can use it, because that does not mean sitting idly by. I repeat that. We will not sit idly by in the face of what's going on. However, we must do that in full knowledge that we're a neutral country with a powerful voice. And how do we use that voice then? We build on the trust and the respect that we have gained that allowed us to get a seat on the UN Security Council on a temporary basis, on the basis that people trusted us, countries trust us. And we are in serious danger of losing that trust if we go with the vast majority of the call here on the right to move forward to a military alliance. We are a tiny country, five, approximately five million. And we have experienced a lot in our lifetimes, and we should build on that and use it. And let me now go forward to what has been mentioned as the hypocrisy of some of our attitudes. I have here, as we all got, a briefing on Yemen today. And when I hear that we stand up for the egregious breaking of human rights, I fully agree. But we do it on a very selective basis. So here we have the Yemen, seven years of war, 10,000 are the minimum number of children. So when we look at children, it doesn't matter which country and which war, I abhor it. 10,000, the minimum number of children. 377,000 have died. The time is running on. The figures are here. And we have done nothing as a neutral country. We have stood idly by why Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, who actually uh, uh, didn't vote for uh, uh, the action against Russia, interestingly enough, we've stood idly by. We, we have stood, uh, we have, I have very little time, we have very, I ver, I've stu, we have stood idly by, idly by. We, we play, we play around, I just try and use my minute effectively. We have stood in relation to Palestine, Amnesty have produced a report. I'll have two and a half minutes tomorrow night to speak on that. They've clearly asked this government to do something and all governments to show solidarity and not stand idly by and that's what we're doing because why the Taoiseach has told us it doesn't really feels uncomfortable with the word apartheid uncomfortable but that's the finding they didn't say Israeli was apartheid they said Israel operates an apartheid regime they were very specific based on years of research and building on the research so when we talk about egregious break um, the, the breaking of law, then we keep our respect if we keep a voice that's consistent, that's powerful, that's truthful, so that people can rely on us and see that we have integrity and see that our words mean something. War is apparent. This is much bigger than Russia. This is much bigger than Ukraine. There's a huge threat here of a nuclear war. If that doesn't encourage us to stand back and think and reflect as a neutral country, God help us.